Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I wanted to show you how to make this cute little bow. It's really, really easy. It is a hook only design. You are not going to need to use a stitch marker. What we're going to be doing is some rows back and forth. And um, I've, I've just sort of cinched it all together with a couple of bands in the middle. Now one of the things you can buy are these little clips or barrettes I think they're called here and you can just actually slide one of these through these little bands here and then it becomes a little hair clip and you can attach that to your hair or your child's hair grandchild's hair um, very easy and you can just take it out and swap it between whatever color um, bows you do now you could do a red white and blue you could do this I've done as a candy corn one um, you could do as I said red white and blue you could do the color of your flag um, any any color at all really um, I found that doing three rows of each of the color works well uh, my starting color with this one was yellow so I had my foundation chain and two rows and then three rows of the orange and three rows of the white so I'm going to show you how to do it and uh, it's very nice and easy and I'm sure there's hundreds of different videos out there on how to do this but this is mine so we're going to start I'm starting I've got three colors starting with yellow and I'm going to make a little slip stitch like so okay a little slip stitch a little end cap <laughs> So I have a little end cap, just like that, and we're going to chain 12. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now I'm going to zoom in so that we can see clearly what I'm doing. Make sure we're focused. Sorry for the saw on my thumb. I had a hang there and it got caught. Um, so we've done twelve. Now we're going to go back two stitches so this is 12 this is 11 this one here is number 10 so you're going to take your hook and go through number 10 like that and then with a the yellow band pull it through do your one over the other and pull it through those two okay and then we work our way back to the end of our row When we get to our last stitch, this is the second last stitch, when we get to our last stitch, which is here, don't, don't count the end cap as your last stitch. The end cap is not your last stitch, this is your last stitch. Go through your last stitch and we're doing a slip stitch, so you're pulling it through and adding the loop that's on your hook, reclaim, then you're going to chain one, like that, okay? You're going to pinch, turn your hook around, and you're going to go back again through that third one from the hook. So one, two, and in through here, we're doing another row of yellow. Again, go through, do your little knot, and pull it through these two loops. And we go back the other way. Now you can do a crab stitch. You don't have to uh, do the, the reverse single crochet. You don't have to have it so it's alternating. If you want the same stitch, um, on each side you can do the re reverse single crochet and that looks very pretty as well and if you need help on how to do that I do have a tutorial on my tips and tricks with all my stitches that I've worked out how to do so far and you can um, learn how to do the reverse single crochet now we're coming up to our last stitch this is my second to last stitch 
Now with my last stitch, which is here, okay, I'm going to put my hook through it, but I've going, I'm going to change to orange now. So I'm going to take my orange band and pull it through. So it's like a slip stitch, reclaim. I'm going to chain one, pinch and turn my hook. And I'm going to go in through the, the first yellow. It's one, two, and three, all right? And again, we're just going to do a single crochet, include those two loops that were on my hook, and down we go again, all the way to the bottom of this particular row. And at the bottom of this, again, in the last stitch, we do a slip stitch, a chain, pinch and turn, and go back up, come back here you, so this is my little candy corn bow, black, white and black would look nice, so I'm at the last stitch, pull my band through, reclaim, chain one, pinch and turn, we're on our second one, so we go one, two, in through the third. This is our second row of orange. So we will have one more row of orange to do. in through your last stitch, slip stitch, chain one, pinch and turn and in through the third stitch from your hook we do our next row or our last row of orange. Have you all got big plans for Halloween? Okay, so I'm at my second to last stitch. Now, if you remember, whoops, let's go through check I'm only going yes I'm only going through that stitch there we go here's my last stitch I'm going to put my hook through I'm going to get rid of the orange bands because we're changing to white I'm actually using the glow white just because I ha happen to have them out slip stitch chain pinch and turn into that first orange because you're skipping the first and second so into the third and we're doing three rows of white You can slide these onto the little plastic headbands, um, anything really. You can put them on a bracelet. Okay, I'm at my last stitch. Go in, do my slip stitch, chain one, pinch and turn, in through the third stitch from the hook. This is our second to last row. It's also our second row in white. We have one more to do. Izzy's going to be 
a vampire queen this year for Halloween. Here's my last stitch. I'm going in, slip stitch, chain one, and let's go down the other side with pinch and turn in through the third stitch. Now at the bottom of this we will do a tie-off band rather than a slip stitch so that we can tie our work off and we will hide the end of our tie-off band inside the white portion of our bow. So here's our last stitch, go through, do your slip stitch, but instead we're going to go through one and the other and pull it nice and tight. Now, this is a sort of pattern, I guess, that you could do for a scarf or anything like that, really. Um, now, poke your hook through some of these little loops at the back here, and you're going to want to make sure that you're sort of in the middle of them so that you're pulling this tie-off band back through the center and it's sort of you want it to be hidden disguised inside all right so if you push oh my cat sneezed bless you baggy through the center here there we go hide that now so you've basically got your little rectangle okay all we're going to do to make it so that it um and you can pick whichever colour you like. I'm picking orange just because that's what I did for the last one. So you're going to sort of squidge it in half. And I kind of have it so that this is folded like that. Take a orange band, wrap it sort of in the centre and twist it once. Now I only twisted it once. You could twist it more. It really doesn't matter. It's completely up to you how tight you want this centre bit to be. I just wanted it the one time and I did that with a couple of bands at least five I think it was four or five this is three and we'll do four like so you want to be able to just stretch these out into shape pull them into shape a little bit like so. The other thing that you can do, I'm going to get rid of these extra bands that we don't actually need. The other thing that you can do is where you have that little end cap. Can you see it? This is the little end cap here. You can get rid of that. You don't need that anymore. And it just looks in the way. So here we have the little end cap here on the end. Just make sure you're only snipping that. But there you have, now you want to obviously pretty that up so these are all on top of each other. There we have little bows. And as I said, you can just pop your little clip through like this. And you have a little hair clip. So, I look forward to seeing some of these. I think they'll look pretty uh, on little girl's hair for Halloween. Or, as I said, you can make it into a little bracelet or a bow tie. You could do a slightly bigger one, make it slightly longer, make a little bow tie for your little little boy. Do a, a little bow tie. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.